If you're afraid to touch the toilet seat, perhaps you should be even more afraid to touch your keyboard. Well, I don't think you should really be touching your toilet seat either. But well, of course, we have, to, we have to touch our, <laughs> our keyboards. And, you know, of course, our fingers and hands get contaminated yeah. with all kinds of germs throughout the day. Mm. And research has shown that keyboards, especially those shared between people, harbor large concentrations of bacteria that could pose a danger, like E. coli, Staph aureus, and Streptococcus. One prior study from the University of Arizona found that the average desktop has 400 times more bacteria than the average toilet seat. What? Now, some of these germs can survive up to 24 hours, mm. and viruses that cause respiratory infections, which we all have right now, can also linger on keyboards and other shared surfaces. So, if you use a desktop like we all, well, no, you all have private yeah. offices. But it's a but trend no, in, in a lot room, of corporate settings. A Absolutely. Lot of people share, yes. And yeah. in the clinic where there are a right. lot of germs, it's a problem. So, if you use a desktop with someone else, wash your hands before and after you sit there, mm -hmm. wipe down surfaces, including the keyboard, the mouse, the telephone with disinfectant wipes and avoid eating at these communal desks because you're touching things and then putting them in your mouth. Yep. And, you know, oh, so. yeah. In the morning, you regularly see people in the newsroom saying hi, saying good morning as they're wiping the keyboards with the antibacterial yeah. wipes. So that's a, that's a good habit good to get habit. into. That's what I do. Yeah. And Thanks, no offense to anyone. Yeah. Thanks, doctor. Yeah.